गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट इन आवर लास्ट टॉपिक वी हैव स्टडी अबाउट फिजियोलॉजी फिजियोलॉजी फिजियोलॉजिकल फैक्टर्स डेटामाइनिंग इंदोरेंस स्ट्रेंथ एंड स्पीड टूडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट फ्लैक्सीबिलिटी फिजियोलॉजिकल फैक्टर्स डेटामाइनिंग फ्लैक्सीबिलिटी फ्लैक्सीबिलिटी इज एन एबिलिटी ऑफ ज्वाइन to move in maximum range it is the ability of joint to move in maximum range and flexibility is of two type active flexibility and passive flex flexibility active flexibility means means it is performed without the external help active flexibility without the external help and passive flexibility means doing the flexibility with the external help the ability of joint to move in maximum range with uh, with external help and active flexibility active flexibility is of two type static flexibility and dynamic flexibility static flexibility uh, st- flexibility are performed from the stationary point fixed point for example chakrasan sideward bending toe touching etc from a fixed point and dynamic means uh, during motion so flexibility perform while in motion while in movement for example doing gymnastic so what are the physiological factors that are minding flexibility first is joint articulation the joint structures or the articulations is the main factors of flexibility it is attached to various muscle ligament cartilages and tendons it make the joint strong and flexibility according to the structures flexibility is determined ligament elas- uh, elasticity ligament uh, ligament joint bone to bone ligament is a connective tissue that joint bone to bone so ligament flexibility elas uh, elas uh, elas elasticity ligament contain to uh, connect two or more bones around the joint more the elasticity of ligament greater is the flexibility of joint jitna ila- elasticity ligament hoga utna hi zyada flexible hoga muscle stretchability higher the muscle stretch, uh, stretchability more is the range of joint movement does helpful in movement jitna stretch the more the muscle stretch more is the flexibility disease or injury the persons who have less disease injury he will have more flexible more flexibility age generally children have more flexibility than adults as age is directly related to flexibility genders females are more flexible as compared to male due to their anatomical structures okay females are more flexible warming up good warming up improve the flexibility of individual if you do warming up then your flexibility will be more heredity heredity is also determined the flexibility as its joint structures and its articulation is related with heredity means heredity means we get from the uh, from the next generation from pa- parents to the next generation it is also the factors for determining the flexibility next is what are the effect effect of exercise on cardio respiratory cardio respiratory system cardio respiratory system is the combination of circulatory and respiratory system this is a combination of uh, circulatory and respiratory system it's had to provide oxygenated blood to the working muscles during exercise this oxygenated blood reaches to the working muscle through blood vessels like arteries 
arterioles, veins, etc. Thus, it is a system which provides energy to the body during exercise. Uh, means cardiorespiratory systems uh, cardiorespiratory systems helps to provide oxygenated rich blood to the working muscles so uh, so the it helps uh, uh, it's provide oxygenated blood to the working muscles and uh, and and uh, and uh, um, and it's provide energy to the body more is the oxygen more oxygen rich to the rich to the muscles more energy is uh, more energy is produced first is hypertrophy of the heart hypertrophy of the heart with regular exercise the hypertrophy means enlargement of the heart take place thus there is an increase in stock volume if the uh, if the hmm, if the hypertrophy of the heart is more than uh, uh, then the then there is increase in stock volume and stock volume is the and stock volume is the amount of blood pump uh, pump out by the uh, plump out by the heart in uh, in one contractions amount of blood pump out by the heart means left or right ventricles in one contraction okay um, hypertrophy of the heart uh, the enlargement of the heart the lengthening of the heart that will that will be the uh, more stroke volume increase in stroke volume increase increase uh, cardiac output cardiac output is the amount of blood pump out in one minute one minute may how much the blood is pumped out regular training with the help of regular training uh, the cardiac output will be increased therefore more blood is pumped out uh, by the heart for the working tissue if our cardiac output is uh, is improved improved then then more blood more blood uh, more blood reach to the walking muscle resting pulse increase resting pulse increase with increased cardiac output the basal heart rate decrease thus the resting time of the heart increase therefore heart is not stressed during the normal work our heart will not feel stress during the normal work faster adaptions to walking loads uh, if the person is trained the heart the heart adapts to the walking load quickly if the person is trained then his heart will adapt the walk uh, quickly uh, the uh, the adjustment of the heart that will be the quick adjustment of the heart according to the need jaisa need hoga usi ke anusar our heart will be adjust quickly return to uh, return of normal pulse quickly the pulse or the heart rate return to normal quickly after exercise thus the body feel relax after some time our pulse rate will be uh, will be returns to normal uh, normal rate quickly therefore we will not feel any stress we will feel relax quickly increase in hemoglobin regular training increase the hemoglobin means hemoglobin which one red blood cells increase the red blood cells contain in the blood so hemoglobin rich blood carry more oxygen thus improve the energy flow if our hemoglobin if our red blood cells uh, increase and then it will carry more oxygen to the working muscles and there will be the more energy production decrease in blood a uh, decrease in uh, blood uh, vi uh, vis uh, viscosity means density decrease in blood density the blood viscosity decrease blood density decrease therefore there is an easy and fast flow of blood during the cap uh, the blood uh, 
through the capillaries moreover the faster circulation of blood agar hamara respiratory respiratory muscle become strong the respiratory muscle the respiratory muscles become strong to work uh, maximally for long duration thus helpful during the stress activity uh, our with the help of exercise our respiratory muscles become uh, become strong therefore we will uh, therefore it is helpful during the stress activity हम लोग स्ट्रेस एक्टिविटी हेल्पफुल इंक्रीज इन नंबर ऑफ एलवियोली एंड पलमनरी डिफ्यूशन एलवरी एलवरी हेल्प टू एक्सचेंज ऑफ ऑक्सीजन एंड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इन द ब्लड स्ट्रीम सो इंक्रीज इन नंबर ऑफ एलवियोली एंड पलमनरी डिफ्यूशन थ्रू रेगुलर ट्रेनिंग द नंबर ऑफ एलवियोली इंक्रीज thus the efficiency of respiratory system is uh, respiratory system is improved therefore there will be the fast uh, removals of carbon dioxide and um, fast re uh, remove fast remove of carbon dioxide and oxygen attached to the blood thus faster uh, pulmonary diffusion maximal oxygen uptake ability increase it is the maximum it is the maximum maximum uh, oxygen uptake ability it is the maximum amount of oxygen utilized by the body uh, during the exercise alveoli efficiency improve if our alveoli efficiency improve then the maximum oxygen oxygen's oxygen uptake ability will be improved therefore more more oxygen reach to the working tissue and the energy productions will be more and we will not uh, and the stress and there will be the less stress if the if more oxygen is reached to the working muscles then the tissue will tissue uh, tissue will provide tissue will provide more energy and there will be the less stress to the working muscle new capillaries are formed regular exercise develop new capillaries this bring more blood to the working muscle therefore the efficiency of muscle improve if our capillary improves then more blood then it will bring more blood to the working tissue and therefore the muscle efficiency of muscle improve increase in tidal volume with regular exercise the tidal volume and vital capacity um vital capacity of lung increase tidal volume means the amount of the, um, it is the volume of air amount of air inhale or exhale during normal breathing normal breathing me how much air is inhale or exhale and vital capacity is the maximum amount of air exhale after the deep inspiration ekdam deep inspiration karne ke baad how but maximum amount of air exhale with the help of training with the help of exercise our tidal volume will be increased therefore the uh, therefore more oxygen is released to the working tissue chemical composition of blood improve with regular exercise regular exercise improve the chemical composition of the blood that is like increase in plasma red blood cells white blood cells um, and thermo thermo uh, bos thermo uh, bosides uh, leukocytes platelets etc thus the quality of blood improve if our if our chemical composition of blood improve then the quality of our blood will be improve faster removal of waste <laughs> with the help of exercise the waste product will be removed fast from the body and also the deficiency and that will be the better uh, better defense against the disease and germs reduction in uh, reduction in cardiac problem regular exercise decrease the cholesterol levels in the blood therefore 
reducing the heart attack risk and other cardiac problem if we do regular exercise then the cardiac problem will be less blood pressure regulation a well balanced blood uh, blood pressures it maintained with regular exercise moreover proper blood temperatures is regulated throughout the body fast healing if um if uh, circulation of blood if our circulation of blood is more is faster then there will be the faster recovery from the injury faster the circulation of blood faster is the recovery from the injury uh, resisting uh, resistance power increase resistance power increase through regular exercise the resistance power that is immune system improve thus common health problems etc can be can be prevent if our immune system improve then then the uh, resistance power will be improved increase in aerobic endurance with the regular exercise less amount of lactic acids is produced therefore the fatigue is delayed we will not uh, we will not uh, feel fatigue hence endurance improve endurance means ability to do any activity for long period of time with the help of uh, exercise uh, the lactic acid production of lactic acids will be less and hence we do we can do the activity for a long period of time improve metabolic system that is chemical reaction in a trained person the metabolic reactions are faster for energy production with less consumption of oxygen thus efficiency efficient energy is a uh, production means chemical reaction uh, in a trained person the chemical reactions is faster therefore the energy production will be more hydro hydro balance in body the water uh, the water that is hydro balance in the body is maintained uh, through exercise therefore we do not feel dehydration uh, our dehydration will be delayed if if we do the exercise effect of exercise on muscular system first is gain in strength with regular exercise there is gain in muscular strength and power this gain in stress is the result of thickening of sarco um, uh, sarcolemma if we do if we do exercise the strength the power of the muscles will be improved efficient uh, efficiency uh, if uh, efficiency improvement as a result of regular exercise there is an increase in number of capillaries in the muscle by this there is faster circulation of blood thus it improve the efficiency of the muscle capillaries is the small blood vessel connecting arteries and veins arteries and veins uh, distribute oxygenated blood from the arteries to tissue in the body and deoxygenated blood from tissue back into the veins um, with the help of regular exercise uh, our capillaries number of capillaries in the muscle will be more therefore there will be the fast uh, circulation of blood uh, then our efficiency of the muscle will be more lactic threshold increase regular exercise increase the ability of muscle to tolerate more lactic acid for long for long duration that is lactic threshold increase thus muscle delay tiredness and fatigue in improve an aerobic endurance an aerobic endurance means ability to do activity in the absence of oxygen absence of oxygen lactic threshold uh, if we do regular exercise the intensity the increase in ability the ability of our muscle to tolerate lactic acid that is tolerate fatigue will be more increase in aerobic and anaerobic endurance 
a trained muscle has more aerobic endurance therefore its capacity to work for longer duration without fatigue is uh, improved increase in aerobic and anaerobic endurance aerobic endurance means present of oxygen and aerobics mean in the absence of oxygen if a muscle is strained then aerobic endurance uh, muscle is improved then there will be then aerobic endurance means the capacity to uh, to work uh, for long duration without fatigue bina thakawat ke is improved proper shape of the body if we do regular exercise uh, regular exercise uh, our body our our shape of the body improve uh, improve thus improving the physical personality our personality will be improve moreover it remove the fat from the body uh, if we do exercise our our personality the shape of the body improve therefore the personality of the person improves and there will be the also have to remove the fat from the muscle faster recovery from injury train at least train muscle can recover from injury faster very fast moreover there are less chance of injury train muscle if our muscle is strained there will be the fast recovery and and there is a less chance of injury emergency store of energy improve the atp it means adenosine adenosine tries for triphosphate and adp adenosine diphosphate shows increase by increase by which muscle can produce more energy it also increase the oxygen depth Uh, capacity uh, thus improve muscle efficiency digit strength digit strength develop systematic and scientific training can develop the digit strength and endurance digit uh, strength and strength develop uh, systematic training if we do training with the help of systematic and systematic training the digit strength and endurance the digit strength means power to overcome the resistance and endurance to do the activity for long period will be improved faster response in uh, in train muscle the stimulus travel faster the signal remove faster thus muscle actions actions and response are faster moreover the muscle remain muscle is toned up condition which improve the uh reflex actions body remain active throughout for faster response our muscle will uh, remove faster to a signal if our muscle uh, if our muscle react faster muscle action for if our muscle react faster then the response will be faster efficient uh, efficient use of diet trade muscles can efficiently use carbohydrate proteins fat etc as a source of energy with less consumption of oxygen better neuromuscular coordination better neuromuscular coordination means regular exercise improve regular exercise improve uh, improve the neuromuscular coordination Uh, by which various skill can be performed efficiently uh, efficiently economically and accurately for example in dribbling uh, dribbling the ball our there will be the better neuromuscular coordination increase in muscle mass regular regular exercise increase the muscle mass that is increase in myoglobin content of muscle thus controlling weight controlling weight of a person if we do exercise then that will be then uh, then we can control our fat and also it uh, it increase the muscle mass and uh, 
इफेक्ट ऑफ एक्सरसाइज ऑन मस्कुलर सिस्टम मस्कुलर सिस्टम एक्सरसाइज एक्सरसाइज ऑल्सो हेल्प टू इंक्रीज फ्लैक्सीबिलिटी इंक्रीज द फ्लैक्सीबिलिटी ऑफ द मसल डेट विल बी द फैट फ्री फैट फ्री वेट द फैट फ्री वेट इंक्रीज ब्लड ब्लड सप्लाई इन द ब्लड ब्लड सप्लाई इन द मसल विल बी इंक्रीज द न्यूरो मस्कुलर कोऑर्डिनेशन मीन्स एबिलिटी ऑफ द सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम टू कंट्रोल टू कंट्रोल द मसल इन एक्सक्यूशन ऑफ मल्टी लिम्स फंक्शनल 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 मूवमेंट ओके सो द वट आर द इफेक्ट फिजियोलॉजिकल फैक्टर्स फैक्टर्स टू डेटरमाइन द स्ट्रेंथ स्ट्रेंथ मीन्स एबिलिटी टू ओवरकम द ओवरकम ओवरकम द रेसिस्टेंट ओवरकम द रेसिस्टेंस हाउ हाउ वी कैन डेटरमाइन विद द हेल्प ऑफ मसल कवरिंग वाइट मसल फाइबर्स वाइट मसल फाइबर्स वाइट मसल फाइबर्स ऑल्सो नोन एज फास्ट ट्विज मसल फाइबर एंड रेड मसल फाइबर मीन्स स्लो ट्विज मसल फाइबर दोज हु हैव वाइट मसल फाइबर्स दे विल हैव मोर स्पीड मस्कुलर कॉन्ट्रैक्शंस मसल लेंथ न्यूरो मस्कुलर रिस्पॉन्स एडिक्यूट एनर्जी एंड एज दैट आर माइनिंग स्पीड स्पीड इज द एबिलिटी टू डू वर्क फास्टर टू डू वर्क एज फास्ट एज पॉसिबल इन अ मिनिमम पॉसिबल टाइम एंड फ्लैक्सीबिलिटी फ्लैक्सीबिलिटी इज द एबिलिटी एबिलिटी ऑफ अ ज्वाइन टू मूव इन मैक्सिमम रेंज एबिलिटी ऑफ ज्वाइन टू मूव इन मैक्सिमम रेंज एंड कार्डियो 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 रेस्पिरेटरी वट आर द इफेक्ट ऑफ एक्सरसाइज इफ वी डू एक्सरसाइज वट आर द इफेक्ट ऑन कार्डियो रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम कार्डियो रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम इट इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ सर्कुलेटरी एंड रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम इट कार्डियो रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम सिस्टम प्रोवाइड ऑक्सीजन रिच ब्लड टू द वर्किंग मसल इफ द वर्किंग मसल गेट ऑक्सीजन देन 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 द एनर्जी प्रोडक्शन विल बी मोर ड्यूरिंग द एक्सरसाइज एंड इफेक्ट ऑफ मस्कुलर सिस्टम a uh, muscle muscular system if we do exercise our muscle uh, our uh, strain our strain the strain of muscle will be improve efficiency improve the efficiency of muscle will be improve lactic threshold increase increase in aerobic and anaerobic endurance proper shape if we do exercise the shape of the body will be improve and then their personality will be improve faster recovery from injury if do we do exercise then there will be the faster recovery from the injury and also the chance of injury will be less these are strength develop the strength will be develop faster response if mm, the train muscle the train muscles react faster to a signal efficiency of diet Uh, train muscles can efficiently use the carbohydrate protein fat etc as a source of energy with less consumption of oxygen better neuromuscular coordination there will be the better neuromuscular coordination and increase in muscle mass there will be in, increase in muscle mass with um, with uh, less body fat with less fat muscle mass will be improved but uh but the f- component of fat will be less okay next is sports medicine sports medicine is also known as exercise medicine sport medicine is a branch of medicine that deal with the diagnosis treatment and preventions of injury related to sports sport medicine means uh, the treatment treatment of injury uh, treatment of injury related to sports is known as sports medicine
first aid first aid is the immediate and temporary care given to the victim first aid means immediate aid immediate aid given to the victim the objective of first aid is to save the life okay first aid means immediate 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 and temporary care given to the victim and the objective of it is to save the life